It's important that we keep the handmade feeling, the handmade-ness in all of our production. There's something magical about it. So this is our studio. Uh, we've been here for about three years. Three years here. Three years, but we've been working together for 10 years. The, the wonderful thing about our cooperation is the fact that it's a lovely place to work. And so Nick does what's referred to as tabletop, which is plates and dishes and bowls. And I do larger scale pieces, a lot of which end up as lamps, or we sell them as vases through showrooms across the country. This is where things begin. These are the Plaster of Paris molds that are the beginning of the shapes. This is the technique that we use for any of the molds, which have to be clamped together. The mold is then filled with what is called slip. It's a mixture of clay and water. And we literally, we pump it into the top of the mold. We leave the clay in there. We leave the slip in the, in the mold for about 45 minutes. And this actually is how it is going to end up. So what I'm cutting out are slabs of clay. I'm gonna throw this in the slab roller. So this is a small tabletop slab roller. We're going to take this clay and drape it into our plate molds. So this is called the slump technique where we're slumping the clay into the mold. So the molds allow us to have some consistency when it comes to production, but each mold is a little different from the next, so the plates will all have their own unique shape. So these are our dinner plates, and this is gonna be in the spokes pattern. Um, so what we have here is an area that's masked off using latex, and so the lines of the inner ring of the spokes are able to be painted, and then there'll be a sharp edge here. They'll get fired again, and then the outer spokes will be painted in, and that way we have a nice sharp edge between the two inner and outer rings. This is another of the techniques that we spend a lot of time doing, the hot wax technique. And so what I'm doing here is applying lines of hot wax with a brush. It's just a regular paint brush. But the, the second stage of this, once I've got the whole vase waxed with the lines, is washing away the clay between the wax lines so that Eventually, once I've done this all the way around the shape, I've done it two or three times, you get a very nice ridged effect. We're ready to open up a couple of kilns. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm anxious to see what's in here. You're going to be happy with this, Roy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks good. This is always my favorite part. It's like Christmas morning. Uh, so the way Roy and I work together, and it just kind of it's by happenstance, is that his pieces are so big, they tend to go on the top. And so then I'm able to fill the bottom with some of my uh, more tableware pieces. So this is, these came out great. We really enjoyed showing you around, but it's time that we get back to work. Come back anytime. Bye-bye.